Okay, I'm at the landing gear mounting part. It says chop a uh, uh, cut your plans uh, pattern out from the plans. I just made a photocopy instead. Cut that out. That way my plans will stay in intact. Uh, you never know when you might break something. I need your plans. So. Cut, cut it laid over the nose. Take a pin. And mark the location. Also going to mark the location of these two screws. And that will give me an idea because there's a slight angle rearward on this. So. And I get the little tiny pin mark there by my thumbnail and then you can see the two on the bottom and that's all you need for a landing gear I'll start by drawing that hole on the top as usual I'm using the drill press because it gives me a nice straight hole Going slow, let it cut. So if you're in a hurry, you might want to get an arf. Now with this little, uh, with these bends you got in the landing gear here. Um, you're going to find when you uh, push that into the wood, due to that little curve there, this isn't going to want to go flush. So what I always do in those situations is take my X-Acto knife and I'll cut the bottom of the hole. You'll have to cut a bit of a notch in here and that'll allow the rest of the wire to go in where that bend is. So I'm going to do that now. There you go, nice and flush, nice and flat with the fuselage. If you don't, you're going to have that little hump there, you're going to have a little bow in your, there's two clamps they use, and like I said, I'm using those two little holes I left there to uh, line up the angle, because this does angle slightly backwards on the plant. And that's all there is to that, and of course, once I get the other side done, I'll uh, put some thin CA in that that hole let it to uh, soak in there and harden up and fuel proof in the, the wood something else you're gonna have to do with these uh, landing gear wires where they cut them yeah the end of them isn't uh, it leaves a bit of a burr and because of that burr this wire won't want to fit into the uh, into the uh, 1 8 hole very well and then you'll end up making the hole bigger and then you'll have a sloppy fit so just take a file or something and just round that edge off and do the same here. Somebody will find sometimes it interferes with the wheel collar. So uh, yeah, just to give that a little round off like I did here and you'll find that slides right in there nice and tight. Here's something else you're going to run into with this kit. Landing gear bend is almost as long as the fuselage is wide so if you use the same hole they're going to run into each other so there's two ways you can go about that you can uh, drill another hole in front of 
the one that I would recommend going in front of the uh, hole that the plans show. I guess you could even go behind it. Or all I'm going to do is cut this so both landing gears uh, mount the same hole. Because really, you know, all your strength for the gear is going to be in those two uh, clamps. All that's really going to do is it'll carry some load, I guess, the vertical load and whatnot, but it doesn't have to be in as far, I don't think, anyway, as far as the, this is. And from what I can see in the plans, they're both supposed to share the same hole, so that's all I'm going to do. Cut that in half, two of them will fit in the same hole, and uh, carry on from there. Okay, I got everything shortened up here. I got the clamp in place. Um, I'm going to put them where the plans say to. Because what that does is you got your hardwood beam running through here for your engine mount. It runs back quite far. You can see in the plans, maybe you can't. But uh, what that does. It puts the wood screws that hold these in place right into that hardwood instead of going through the ply and into the balsa. So I'm putting this stuff where they say to. And uh, I did the same thing I did with a hole, like they even tell you in the plans. I just used a, a pin to mark where I was going to put this hole, which also puts the landing gear into that hardwood beam. And uh, I marked with a pin for this one as well. The top one, I'll just get her like they show here. Just get it behind that uh, bend there. As long as you're on that hardwood beam, your screws will have something good to anchor into. So get the clamp on her. I'll just mark it off with a pencil. And uh, what I also did was. Uh, just kind of made sure the gear lined up with the plan. You know, I kind of thought about swinging them forward, <sighs> especially when I'm flying in the grass. It would appear that uh, for the tank that I'm going to be using, this is a uh, two ounce, but I'll be using a one and a half. It may interfere. Actually, looks like I got some on. Go well, swing that landing gear forward. I know this is the wrong side and everything, but it'll be the same. Yeah, it'll be a smaller tank as well. Plus, the tabs go on the top and bottom. So, I might just swing this gear forward, making sure it's in the same area. Still got lots of room with the tank. I think what they might want though. So I'm going to start off the tank lined up. The center line. And of course you're going to want to adjust it up and down to flying inverted to get the, the tank in the right spot. Yeah, I don't want them swept back. I can see in the grass that that might cause me some grief. So I'm going to sweep, sweep it forward a bit. And uh, if it is um, too far forward, just a matter of drilling a hole and putting it back here. Okay, as you can see, I got these uh, holes all done. They go right through because you're using uh, screws with nuts and washers to uh, hold these on and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll just run some thin CA into all these holes making sure that it works through to the other side and uh, once that's uh, wipe up any excess and give her a little shot of kicker I'll run the drill uh, through all these holes again clean them up and be all nice and hard and, and uh, they'll be fuel proof as well. Okay, we're back to the wing again. Um, 
the center line I just double checked the measurements from the edge of the wing in front and back I damn sure that was in the center and I measure 5 sixteenths out as per the plan the instructions on either side draw a couple more lines and I'll I'll be used for uh, lining up the fuselage okay they say the seems like they want the canopy glued on while you're messing around with the wing well I'm uh, I got her glued on now. I use that uh, slow cure um, CA glue on, on that again. It's pretty good. It dries reasonably fast, but still, like I said before, it gives you enough time to make sure everything's where it needs should be before it grabs hold. So it's uh, starting to look a little prettier now. doing with the fuselage is I'm giving it that final sanding with the uh, I'm using 150 fresh 150 and the old the old uh, easy touch thing from great great planes these things are nice got that nice shape to them you muckle onto them pretty good so uh, once you put glue your wing in as far as getting everything sanded nice and smooth it's going to be really hard. You might end up dinging the wing and stuff while you're doing that. So, uh, while you can still lay it down, dust everywhere. While you can still lay it down nice and flat, <clears throat> I give it that pretty much that final sanding now. And uh, get all the nice rounded shape to the fuselage, which I haven't done yet. But I'm going to. Um, on the top. Make sure you know you don't round off where your stabilizer is going and where your vertical fin. You want to leave a little flat spot there. And of course you'll be putting your offset after the... Uh, <clears throat> probably I think it starts around here. So you might want to measure and mark that up before you round her up too much. You don't want to be trying to glue your dorsal fin and vertical fin to the uh, around it, uh, fuselage top. But I got all this lined up, nice and flat and smooth on the sides, front so good. And I'm just going to finish off this uh, little bit of sanding I got left in the plywood uh, doublers and uh, I'll start rounding things up. Okay, got everything rounded up pretty nice here. And uh, again the top. I uh, marked off where the fin starts and I left it flat just on the very top and I let it go broad to flat till I get to the uh, tail here as you can see this fellow's going to go in like that so later I'll probably bring this down a little bit to, to fit on flush or I'll just notch the, the, the fin whatever easier I suppose but she's all rounded up and the bottom I just had at her I kind of like to blend them out into the, the plywood there a bit the front of the canopy I just leave that a little bit flat so it spreads and kind of blends in the, the front here and later I'll just go over it with some loose sandpaper finish it all off after it's uh, assembled. <clears throat> so, but uh, most of it's done. I did the sides and everything. I did the nose as I said before. It's going over 150 on this thing. So I'm just going to do the wing now. And Once I got this uh, sanded up and smooth, like I say, it's a lot easier getting a nice job on this now before you assemble it. Making sure you don't round off anything you're going to have to uh, glue the tail feathers or anything on to and uh, then trying to sand it nice and smooth once it's together then you've got all your joints and everything to contend with not to mention the, how much easier it's going to be to ding things 
Uh, note I'd like to make about sanding down the wing. So I got her nice and smooth on the, on the inboard side. Got some of the hills and fuzz off it. That's uh, for the center here where you're going to be. I marked it out after the did the deal in the bottom. Um, you don't want to sand a whole lot right here in the center. Um, or very, very little. Because as you sand this down, your uh, wing joint's going to get a lot looser. You want a nice snug fit when your fuselage comes over that. So just keep in mind to stay away from that line that you should mark there in the top. Okay, get everything sanded up. I'm going to put the glue to her now. And you kind of know that around here she's a bit tight. So I'll only put a thin amount of glue in the tight area. Towards the back, I notice it's a bit looser, so I'll gob it on a lot heavier here. Most of the glue I'm going to have on the uh, towards the inside, because as you slide the wing in, it's going to push it over. And then I'll hit this area with thin where I know it's really tight. First time I've done this using the CA, so we got this nice thick stuff here. I got everything marked on the other side. Do the same thing here. And getting right up against that line there. Of course here I know it's but I'm not going right up to the line on the inboard side of the wing because the glue is going to push when you slide the wing in. Ready pretty quick with the uh, triangle there. Okay, got a fresh paper towel to wipe up the excess. Well, uh, slider in here. I'm gonna rock it a little bit as I go in. Hey, and that's working well. It's uh, letting the glue work into the joint without pushing it all out of the way. And that actually worked really well. A lot better than I expected. Okay. Looks to be pretty good. Uh, pretty impressed with this Brodac kit. The material, I mean, for a beginner's kit, first off, it's got just about everything you'd need to build the thing anyway. It's pretty good like that. Most of the hardware, in fact, I think all the hardware except for the gas tank and engines here. Fella doesn't have to do a lot of shopping. Said they did a pretty good job for a beginner's kit. You got just about everything you need. Got the uh, initial bite on the CA. I, I, it set up good enough that I didn't bother using kicker. Um, I've never glued a wing on this way before. Usually I use epoxy. And I think, even with the slow dry, um, I'm off 64th of an inch on square, which is, <laughs> I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Personally, I kind of like to have it perfect, but. It's not a perfect world, so the hell with it. But uh, the glue did set up a little faster than I'm comfortable with for doing something like making sure your wing is square. So if I were to do this again, 
Yeah, I had to try it, and with a you know, an inexpensive plane like this, let's do a little bit of experimenting. Um, doing it again, I'll just use the epoxy, and you got it gives you time to work. It's a little messier, but uh, I kind of for doing wings and stuff like that, stick with the epoxy. My opinion. Anyway. Okay, the next thing I'm in the process of doing is uh, I always got these little gaps, so I'm holding the wing upright like this. I put a bead of that thick CA, the slow dry in there, and nice thing about it, it doesn't dry up right away, and it's creeping down into the gaps, so it's doing a pretty good job. On that area, I'm still not using kicker because uh, I want it to soak down. And even my experience last night, I noticed even if you don't, uh, even you let the kicker vapor uh, evaporate and disappear, the damn stuff will still harden on it, even if you can't smell it and it's dry. So, so that's all sinking in there, real nice. Once it's in to the point where I think it'll stay put, I'll flip this around and do the other side. Okay, I uh, got the flaps out of the kit. They're not functional. You glue them right in. And they actually, uh, the uh, slot, as you can see, keeps going here. And that's going to slide right in there with a little fitting. And just glue that on the trailing edge. And again, I'm going to use thick CA. I'm going to leave a little bit sticking up on the end. <clears throat> and I'll just sand that to match the tip of the, the wing. And a few little things I'm going to do, just make sure that Everything's flat and it's going to fit real nice there. I already rounded off the trailing edge. And I used the long sanding rail to make sure this was nice and, and flat. So we'll uh, gob some glue on there and get her on the airplane. <clears throat> Got the flaps on her now. And they uh, go inside that slot that was in the fuselage here. Of course, and they just glue on solid and trailing edge. And I just uh, blended the tip. It's starting to, starting to look like a uh, flight streak now. Yeah. Come along quite nicely.